Power Rangers 2017 film was released last Friday on the 24th. The running time is 124 minutes, according to wikipedia.org. Now, but according to different websites, including google.com, it was uh, two hours and four minutes. The budget of this film cost $100 million. I read an article somewhere, it's $105 million. In the box office, $59 million. Now, <clears throat> this movie was received mixed reviews by movie critics. Uh, Metacritic's uh, website scored a 44 out of 100. Rotten Tomatoes scored a 44%. So, take it or leave it. Do I think this film is the best of the three? Middle uh, or the average of the three? Or by far the worst of the three? So, let me get the positives, the negatives, and what in the world did you do with the film out of the way? The positives, love the cast. Don't have an issue with it. Uh... Especially with um, Billy Cranston, who's played by R.J. Seiler, and Bill Hader as a voice actor for Alpha 5. They stole the show. There are some funny moments, especially with uh, Alpha 5. And don't get me started on Billy Cranston <laughs> when they got the Zords. And when they get the Zords and they're jumping up and down like, oh my goodness, this is exciting, blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, out of the middle of nowhere... Billy screamed, yippee ki yay, mother, you know what? I'm like, did he really just say, yippee ki yay, mother, you know what? I mean, half or the entire theater was just burst out laughing. And I'm just like, did he really just drop the yippee ki yay? I remember saying it at least three times. Then I had to think about, then I had to realize it's a reboot movie so things are will be different than the than the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show let on the movie the first and the third act of the film it's good really good the story is good but um I'll say like this it's all about the Rangers stopping Rita Repulsa from wreaking havoc on, on Earth while Rita Repulsa is trying to find the Zeal crystals, so she can give it back to, so she can give it to her um, her master, Lord Zed. Who knows? And this is before the film started, but we don't know if Lord Zed was even mentioned in this film. <clears throat> so, And I need to say something too. The, the cast, especially with the Rangers themselves, I love the realness. They have real life teenage problems. They, they have real life issues just like everybody else. It, it's it's not fake or generic or unicorn jumping over rainbows, you know, sunshines. Everybody's having a great day. Nothing wrong with me. Woohoo! None of that. And I also love the fact that film is not Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Dark tone. I'm like, if they go with that, I, I think this film would have scored even lower. <laughs> so, yeah, the bad, the bad little stinkiness and the ugly. What did you do? Um, there are parts in the story that the plot doesn't make a lot of sense. But like I said, you're gonna have to watch the film to see it for yourself. The transformation of um, the Megazord, you don't actually see it. He, he transformed it in dark under, underneath the ground. I think that in the ground is the Zeo crystals. When when you think of Power Rangers, Dinozords transforming into Megazords, you actually see it. Cause we saw that in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show. But like I said, in the film, the reboot film, you don't. Uh, Zordon, he came across as a bully and manipulator. I'm like, I'm like, damn, dude, really? You want the Rangers to power up to to, to become Power Rangers for your own, for your own selfish gain? Man, you are dirty. Oh, I can take on Rita and kill her. You couldn't kill her 65 million years ago. What makes you think you do it now? Surprised Jason didn't go up to that little monitor and slap the sh <laughs> slap the crap out of uh, Zordon. Well, I'll punch him. Anyways, uh, the putties. 
not feeling it. The, 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 the model of the dinosaurs, not feeling it. Goldar looked like a, a, a fried chicken. I, at one point, I'm sitting in the, in the movie theater, and I'm like, man, when this is over, I'm going to KFC and get me a Georgia Gold. Man, it looked tasty. <laughs> oh, boy. I, just like every time I look at Goldar, I'm like, man, I'm getting hungry, man. Yeah. And the positive side, he doesn't talk. And I know people are complaining that, oh, he doesn't talk. I'm like, look. Look at Transformers Age of Extinction with the Dinobots. They didn't talk. And I'm I'm glad they didn't do it. Because there's no telling what would have happened. You don't want that Transformers Revenge of the Fallen uh, backlash. With the twin Autobots. Yeah, You don't want that. No, sir. So, um, that's all I can think of. The positives, the negatives, you know, greatness, stinkiness, and what in the world did you do with the film moment. So, what do I think about it? I like it. That's my verdict. I like it. And this film faced a lot of criticism, a lot of controversy, and this is before the movie came out. You know, with the uh, Becky G's character Trini, you know, playing as a, a sexual orientation. She likes guys. She likes girl, women. You have um, the R. Who was that? R. J. Siler playing as Blue. Uh, I mean, uh, Billy Crenson's the Blue Ranger, who is artistic. I did not know that. I always thought that okay, there he's super smart, but there's also something wrong with them. But once I'm reading it right now, right in front of me, that he. he playing as a blue ranger who's artistic i'm thinking okay the wonder so yeah i like the film it could have been a lot better but um they introduce tom there will be a sixth ranger and it was the green jacket you can guess who's coming Oh yeah, they will be a lot of Easter eggs and references, especially with the Bumblebee Transformers reference, and a little bit of cameos. I think I said that, and I might as well say it now. Jason, David, Frank, and Amy Jo Johnson were cameos as uh, Angel Grove citizens. They will be in there. They are in the movie. They are. So. I will do Varus Thon's Volume 130 video sometime later this week or next month. Talk about a lot of things. And uh, with that, SA17 throwing y'all salute. Talk to you guys later. What's your thoughts if you have seen this film?